kidding. Uh, so guys, um, we got some good news and some bad news. Good news is your boy got an e-locker on the way. I got an e-locker from Pick and Pool. I got really lucky. Got a killer deal on it. Looks like it's in good condition. <clears throat> so I'll have that installed uh, hopefully in a month or two. The bad news is my engine is currently uh, almost taken apart. So basically it all started uh, a couple of days ago when uh, I turned my car on and I was waiting for it to warm up. And I heard a really bad grinding noise. And uh, I don't know what that is. And so I got out of the car and I tried to find it. I couldn't find anything that was hitting and I was like, touching each other, any contact, any points like that. So I was like, I don't know, I'm not sure I can fix this. And maybe it's inside the engine. It didn't sound like a knock, it didn't sound like anything like that. So I called my friend Ruben to come help me out and check it out. And he came over and he's like, I think it's your pulley, man. Your pulley seems like it's broken and it's not the crankshaft spinning inside of it. And I'm like, well, crankshaft spinning inside of a pulley is never a good sign, but uh, like it should be easy to fix. Take the pulley out, put a new one in there. Uh, we didn't think it through, I guess. And um, then fast forward a couple days till yesterday, today, and we took the pulley out and took it apart. And that's when we noticed that the, the Woodruff key, the, or the key, the little pin that, that's in the, on top of the crankshaft that the pulley, uh, the pulley kind of slides into was shaved off by the pulley. Um, it was just grinded off, it just snapped off. Part of the, part of the pulley is actually damaged, and um, so that's not good. Uh, so we took that apart and we kind of did re some research. So we did some research and uh, we found that the the key has to be taken off. The uh, one of the gears has to be taken off, so we put a new key in there. And we did that. And once we took all thing off, I was like, might as well do the timing belt, wa water pump, and um, you know, replace a few parts uh, that since we're already there, the engines are taken apart. So we gotta do that stuff. And I had a few trips planned uh, more uh, in the next couple of weeks before I go back to school. But it seems like the car that seems like the foreigner is out of a commission for a little while. And um, so for now, we're going to just do other people's cars and hopefully she'll be back in a few weeks, um, kind of a month, and hopefully she'll have an e-locker by then. Uh, but for now, it sucks. Bad luck, and it happens. Uh, these reliable Toyotas have their problems at 190,000 190, miles. Um, this is happening, and that's okay. It could have been my fault. It could have been the mechanic's fault. Maybe uh, I was reading the most common uh, cause of this issue was that the... The front crankshaft pulley wasn't tied, wasn't tightened down to the proper, proper torque rating, which is 220 pounds, uh, 220 pounds, I believe. And for whatever reason, if it wasn't tightened, that, tightened down right, uh, it got loose, wobbled off, and that's when it started, started wobbling and started spinning more. And uh, it happens. Luckily, my car was here, and uh, we'll get it fixed sooner or later. But thank you for subscribing, and thank you for the videos.